Right, here we are today, and uh, what a fantastic day it is. And I've took this opportunity because it's quite breezy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off saying windy, but it's, it's quite a strong breeze. And I, uh, I've just got, I've, uh, I've just purchased the DJI wireless mic system. Now I didn't go for the, uh, the full package where you get the charging case, two mics, and a receiver. What I've got is I've got the slightly cheaper version where you just get one mic and one receiver. Today I'm just going to use the standalone mic all by itself and I've got the Mavic 3 in the air. I've had to put it in sport mode just to hover and keep me in focus there. And I've taken it about, uh, about 15 feet away from where I am and I can just hear the, uh, the props spinning, barely, but I wanted to see how close I can be before the, uh, before the mic picks that noise up because I want to use the Mavic 3 and the uh, the Mini 3 Pro as a sort of blogging camera and also when I go out doing various video shoots I want to be able to use both the drones as uh, sort of static cameras and also sort of uh, you know drone cameras as well so that's what today's all about right the uh, the mic itself is clipped onto my shirt it's got a magnet uh, little magnet square on the back of it which uh, is very strong I've got to say and uh, so sort of clips anywhere you want it to clip I've got the old windsock on because as I say there's quite a strong breeze blowing and I've got the Mavic 3 up there just uh, about 15 to 18 feet away from me hovering in sport mode. Now there's quite a few settings on this and if you want me to go through the settings and uh, give you some examples as, as, uh, as to how that alters the, the sound, I certainly will do, drop me a comment below. Uh, but today I'm just going to go through the various gain settings. So at the moment it's set on plus 12. Now the settings are, it goes from 0 to plus 12 and 0 to minus 12. Uh, not only on the mic, but also on the receiver. Now I don't know, I don't need to worry about the receiver because I haven't plugged it into any uh, external camera. I'm just using the mic on its own as I say. So I'm going to go uh, in increments of 2, so I'm going to start off with the sound at plus 12, then I'm going to knock it down to plus 10, plus 8, plus six, plus four, and so on, and see how the different gain settings alter the, uh, the sort of sound quality. So if that's something that you're interested in and you're thinking about getting the DJI uh, wireless mic, stay tuned. Right, let's have a look first of all. And so as I said, it's now on plus 12, so hopefully it's coming through nice and clear. I'm not raising my voice in any way at all. Uh, let me just get the... Uh, the receiver, put the uh, DJI Mavic 3 controller down. Right, the receiver, it's quite a small little thing. You wouldn't believe it, would you? And it's got a lovely little touch screen. I have to say though, you do need the fingers of a 12 year old piano player. All right, that's what I'm saying. If, you're, uh, if you've got slightly sausage fingers like myself, you've got to be very careful because you end up, uh, well, I know a lot of people have ended up formatting their card when in actual fact they didn't want to do that so they've lost all the footage so be very careful of the touch screen it's very small it's very sensitive but it's uh, it's really very clear for the size of it right so uh, what you have to do you swipe down and then you you come into a sort of menu and let's have a look you're looking at the uh, receiver gain so we don't want the receiver gain we're looking for the transmitters yeah transmitter settings and let's have a look transmitter gain so here we go transmitter gain and at the moment oh, I made a mistake at the moment it's actually on plus nine I was looking at the wrong uh, the wrong gain setting I was actually looking at the receiver gain so the transmitter gain at the moment is plus nine so I don't know how that's uh, that's working out but let's now take it up to 12 No, hang on a minute, it was 12. Sorry, I do apologise, it was 12. The sun is so bright, that's one thing that I would say. It, uh, it's quite difficult to read the display if the sun is really bright. Uh, you do need some kind of shade. Right, so it's on plus 12. So that's what plus 12 sounds like. Let's now drop it down to plus 10. Uh, this is where the sausage fingers, where is there a 12 year old pianist when you need one, eh? Uh, Let's have a look. That's 12, 11, and 10. 
Right, so that's 10. So the gain is plus 10. So hopefully that's made a slight difference. Let's go down to, uh, there, or let's go down to eight. That's now plus eight. So hopefully you can't hear the drone in the background and you can't hear the noise from the traffic. I'm actually right at the side of a slip road and just beyond the slip road, about 20 feet, is a dual carriageway. And both of those roads are quite busy at the moment. So hopefully the, uh, the windsock on here is doing a good job of, uh, of cancelling that noise out. Plus it's got the, the side wind. <laughs> I'm going to say wind now. It's gone from a breeze to a, to a you know, pretty, uh, pretty strong <laughs> wind. Right, so that's eight anyway. Right, let's drop it down to, uh, let's drop it down to, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. So that's... Uh, Eight, seven, six, let's have six. Do forgive me, it's quite, uh, it'd probably help if I wasn't so blind. Right, there you go, so that's plus six. So plus six. I don't know what that sounds like yet, but when I get back and uh, and watch the uh, watch the the footage, just like you are, then I'll know. So that's plus six. Let's get it down to four. That's now down to plus four. So again, it should be softer, I should imagine. That's now on plus two. I'm not going to go to the uh, to the minus settings. I'm just going to go down to zero. So that's plus two. And then that's on zero. And then if you uh, if it's still too loud or it's you know not the sort of quality that you want, you can drop it all the way down to minus twelve. So that's the settings for the gain. Now there's also another setting. Let me just whack this back up to twelve. Seems to be my favourite uh, favourite setting. So I'm going to whack that up to twelve. There's also something called, uh, let's have a look, I think it's called low cut. And what low cut does is it's supposed to deaden or cancel out some lower uh, sounds, so some deeper sounds that may be in the background. At the moment I haven't got that on, so what you're hearing is we without the, uh, the low cut setting on. So now I'm going to pop it on. And maybe it's taken away some of the uh, the lower rumble noises from the from the traffic in the background. I'm not sure, but we'll, as uh, as I said before, just like you, I'll find out at the same time. So that's the low cut, so sort of lower, deeper frequencies. Maybe rumbling, dark, deeper rumblings of traffic, and something like that. That should have cancelled that out, or at least done a a pretty decent job. So that's on, and now the same, but this time it's off. So that's it. I'm not going to go through any other settings. That's the uh, the gain settings, and that's what I wanted to do. The display is lovely on here because you get a nice sort of sound bar, green, amber, and then red. Uh, it tells you how much battery life you've got, tells you which transmitter you've got. Uh, it also shows up a, a red dot or a red circle to indicate that you are actually recording. And it gives, next to the recording button, it gives you the gain setting that you are. So this is, as I said before, plus 12. Right, so the drone is about, what did I say, about 15 to 18 feet away. Let's now bring it a little bit closer and see just how close we can get. So here we go. I have to say, uh, I have got the zoom as well. I've got the three times zoom uh, enabled, so it looks as though it, the drone is closer than it actually is. Let's come now. So I can hear this now quite, uh, I can hear this with my ear quite easily now. Right, so it's now no more than, what would I say, maybe 10, maybe 10, 11 feet away. Now, personally, I can hear the drone humming away there, but as I said before, it is in sports mode, so, you know, it is actually working quite hard to, to keep itself stable. Uh, I should imagine that if you had it in cine mode, and you had no breeze or wind whatsoever, and it was just hovering there, then you may be able to get a little bit closer uh, and not hear the props. But at the moment, you're listening to the props, if you can hear them, at their maximum, trying to battle this, uh, 
this breeze slash, <laughs> slash wind. I'm going to reserve. <laughs> I'm not going to say hurricane. It's not hurricane. But there you go. And I've also knocked off the uh, knocked off the uh, the zoom focus. It's now down to 1.3. But if I wanted to bring that right in, so you could get quite a nice shot where it looks as though the drone is pretty damn close to you. When in actual fact it's uh, not. So there you go. So that again is sort of you know 10, 11, maybe 12 feet away from me. But because I've enabled the zoom function, it looks as though it's a lot closer. Uh, obviously it's not going to affect the sound uh, that I'm speaking because that's that's independent from the drone but there you go so if you're thinking of using one of your drones as a blogging camera or uh, you're a presenter and you want to add a different dynamic to your presenting style so you know you could pop the drone in the air uh, you could do some presenting from above you could certainly do some walk and talk because you could use the tracking function uh, I think one of the lovely things that I'm going to try tomorrow is uh, have the drone up and then have it track me, but I'm going to have it in front of me, so I'm walking towards the drone, and then uh, and then do some sideways uh, tracking. So I'm going to try all the different tracking functions and the mic as well, and see what that looks like, so that I can incorporate that into the different sort of video projects that I've got coming up soon. So there you go. Uh, turned out to be a little bit longer than I thought. I thought this was going to be a little bit of a quick video, but it's not. Hope you enjoy. As I say, drop me a comment below if you want to know anything. I mean, I'm sort of learning, just like you probably will be, about the, the DJI wireless mic system. But at the moment, straight out of the box, uh, it took, I mean, it comes pretty much fully charged as well, I'd add. Uh, it took me three or four minutes, literally, just to get it out of the box, switch it on, go through the settings that I needed to use, and then uh, the, 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 nice, the nice sort of part, the tinkering part, is coming out and experimenting and seeing what settings work for what your situation might personally be. But uh, yeah, any comments, I always get back to people and I'm always happy to help. And maybe you've got some comments or tips you want to share with me and, and anyone else that, uh, that might be watching. So, hope you enjoyed this and as always, bye for now.